What's up guys? New event and we are getting close to 20k subscribers, which I am I've been actually looking for this for a while now, but I have been getting a new look on YouTube. Hopefully by the time I hit 20k it'll be ready and I'll be able to change into it. But I'm excited for it. Hopefully you guys will like it too. Uh, it's something that's been going on for the past month, besides everything else that I've been going through. So it, it honestly feels like it's been a while since I commentated a video, but college is in full effect with my work and, uh, you know, full-time college, full-time job is uh, <laughs> really I barely have enough room for YouTube, but we'll see about that. I'm honestly really excited for the new look at 20k subs. Um, new thing for me though, I managed to hit 17,000 achievement points on this reputation hall, which you can still go a pretty good amount into. I think the weakest link I have is Arena by far. So I don't know when, but I really should get into going for more Arena fights. This must be insane. I mean, it probably goes up to a thousand Arena wins, and I'm only at 300 because I'll just get Sage of Six Pats and be done. Uh, but this, I'll probably have to start really gunning into arena wins, because it goes off to page 6. Yeah, it's gonna be a while, but I just really want to go for this for achievement point's sake. I'm pretty far in almost everything else, and I've been trying to, to max it out for where I can. And, um, yeah, you know, honestly, I still prefer the second and, and third place title. But, unfortunately, I'm stuck with this one. I honestly love this title so much, and it hurts that I had to to lose it. <laughs> but whatever, you know. It, that's honestly the only title I would like to use in the game. But new events. Uh, the only new addition for this week is we have ourselves the new summon, uh, Gero Tora, which, if you don't remember, it is basically the Sage. It's, a, it's like it was one of the Sage Toads that I believe is the scroll. But, I don't know if he always looked like this, I thought he looked differently. But it's been so long since I've seen the early parts of Naruto, and uh, yeah, he's finally out. You can pick him up in the event cycle. He hits, uh, well, he's triggered by a 10-hit combo, and hits two units that will ignite them. Now I must say that these summons are really not that good. Out of all of these, I feel like Donzo's summon is the only new addition that's actually, like, worth probably getting. Or not even worth buying, but you could actually have a chance of using him. Uh, Ibuse, if, if you're not going to get King of Hell, which King of Hell is literally... like This is the bootleg substitute to the King of Hell. Because the King of Hell is the most expensive summon in terms of points. Um, so this one, you'll be able to purchase in an event directly without having to get all the summoning scrolls or points or whatever to get King of Hell. Otherwise, you wouldn't use this. This is for, like, I guess new players coming into the game. They're impatient and want to spend. That's what these summons are for. Garotora ends up causing ignition to two. Ibuse does poisoning and then Donzo's summon, which is the elephant called Nightmare. It's like an elephant tiger thing. It's so weird. It looks cool. I like the design, but it ends up causing blindness. And uh, it didn't occur to me, but it doesn't have its English name. <laughs> you know, I, I, I love seeing the Chinese right here. You know, it looks cool. But, yeah, that's kind of one thing I just noticed right now. And I don't think it's supposed to say Summon Gerotora. I think it's just supposed to say Gerotora anyway. But, um, the only justification you would have to getting these summons is if you want to raise up your summoning cultivation. I'm pretty sure they need either level 10 or, like, level 8. I don't know. Because, for me, I'm 11 and they already showed that they're active as long as I get the summon. But, otherwise, yeah, you know, to go for Guy's Tortoise... Like, I feel if I did get Gerotora, it would probably get me really close to 12. But I still don't think it would get me it. I'd probably get like maybe 20 more points into it easily. And, you know, then I have to find the remaining 14, which was going to be a problem. Because summoning cultivation takes a lot of runes at this point. But if I was to get Gerotora and then get myself Guys Tours, it would be a decent power boost from both. Uh, if I did cultivate. But otherwise... No, that summon, you can find it in Lucky Board, uh, which I kind of, like, I still like Lucky Board, but the fact that I have Crustacean, the summoning points that you get back from it is just really low, so there's really not much for me to go into Lucky Board. Uh, Garotora costs around 10k, then you have yourself the Yes Master outfit, 
which is slightly under like i don't know how much it was i honestly can't remember i don't want to give out a price where i'm unsure of but um it's more points per frag than Geratora, but you need 80 for Geratora and you only need 50 for the outfit so i would say it's probably like still between 6 to 8k honestly it seems like it would be expensive Tobirama, i personally i still i used to my favorite hokage Eventually, I get him from Battle Armor, but I'm not gonna spend. I think he costs like 15k in this event cycle, like 14k, give or take. Probably like 15 or 16, because it's a lot of points. Uh, Miyaboku graphs are good to grab from here. Refine Rune Packs, I would say that they're pretty reasonably priced. I think for the same amount that you would get 200 advanced refines, you probably pay a little bit more, but you get yourself all these other like extra items and. If you're getting seal scrolls, it would be pretty good, uh, alongside maybe mood scrolls. And if you don't have crustacean, then it really helps out. And then Swim Satomari still holds up her price around like 10k. Uh, I think I got her for like around 11,000. Sakura Festival, it's nice they finally bring out Konohamaru. He's a two-star ninja. Um, it's kind of ridiculous how he came out so long ago. And they haven't brought his events, or his fragments out in any event. It was just that one time into Lucky Snatch, you either got him for 80 frags or you didn't. I think I tried a little bit into it, but I didn't get him at all. I think I did the... actually, that's, I think that's when I did the 10k. It was probably the same time the Lightning Tiger Contracts uh, scroll came out. So I feel like it was that time around. Uh, limited time recruitment. This is the... Everyone always says it's the worst rebate, and I feel like it is just because it's... The scrolls aren't permanent, and you get a lot less from... Um, this one gives you like 50, I think 50 seals that are temporarily, compared to that one giving you 66, I think. And, you know, for the 500, it also gives Itohashi frags, both of them now. But, yeah, this, I just really don't like it. This rebate is just here as a fast track option for anyone that wants to just keep getting seals and use them up. Refine rebate is here, 500 for a pill. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, it's honestly the thing that surprises me, is the, the the event cycle is honestly just a skip, unless you're gonna wail into it. That's the way this event cycle is. It's, it's not really something I would recommend you to spend into, but the recharge rebate, which I am definitely, I was waiting for anyway. Um, and I must say, it's, it's honestly pretty good. I was hoping it'd be, you know, a full 80 frags of a ninja. But the fact that you're getting 50 Edo Heroes and Frags for 20k, you would have been a 30k recharge rebate for 80 anyway. You still get yourself the Gold Essence, it gives a Cave Key gift pack, Purple Essences, Billy Treasure Scrolls. But the interesting thing was, is that in the Wheel of Fortune, you get yourself 30 Edo Heroes and Frags for doing 300 spins. Which is kind of like crazy. I mean... You basically recharge 20k, spend 6k of it on Wheel of Fortune, and you get yourself a Neto Heroism with like Gold Essence as well as all the extra other items. It's honestly a really good value. Now, probably the best value would have been for a Neto Heroism was when you recharge 30k to get him on release, but, you know, obviously for them to avoid that, they did this. And I always spend into Wheel of Fortune. But I honestly wish, like, you know, they, I hope that Konohamaru is not going to be locked. I'm going to do 500 spins. But, you know, Wheel of Fortune used to be my favorite event. Because RNG was actually happening on this thing. The three times I got RNG this year was from Wheel of Fortune. Um, and I must say that when it was giving 20 to 30 frags of a ninja, it was so good. You know, it was really easy to get them. But... While I kept trying to help people get ninjas, eventually they just probably saw that and had to nerf the wheel. Because the, the game was being flooded by it. Then they went to one frag and they finally went up to five. So I hope that eventually they just either bring back the 20 to 30 frags for a ninja. Or they keep like a 5 to 10 frag choice that's actually reasonable. And not like stupidly limit locked. Because who knows how Wheel of Fortune is now. And when it used to have mood scrolls, it was very good. But they took something out for Mood Scrolls. I can't remember if it was Mount Me Boku Grasp or whatever it was. But honestly, I'd rather have them take out Charm Material Fragments or even the Bells or something. You know, it's just take something out and put Mood Scrolls back in. Because they used to be really good. 
And you're not even giving full charm packs, so material fragments is kind of robbery. Then there's also... what else was there? Time of the Ninja Recruitment. Uh, this event is honestly still so outdated, it really... It really just gives no extra value for spending into it. Has the deluxe spell pack still. It's a really good source for free protection runes. Because you can get 11 keys a day from sweeping instances as well as wanted missions. Yugito is around 10k and I think uh, Hinata is around like 8 to 9k. She was around that price range in Germany. Personally would not pay for her. Uh, Yugito I would like to have just for collection's sake. I would only use her for one video and never use her again. So my dilemma for this week is the recharge rebate is worth doing. The spending rebate as well is really good. I love this 8k one. I mean it gives you 20 packs. So it gives you 200 pages for 8k spending. That's really, really good. And it starts giving the bond scroll optional packs for assist links, which is amazing. So for 8k, like this value alone is probably 8k itself. Like it's it's actually the one, one time I feel like the value is on point. These optional packs were going for 1500 in Treasure of the Sage, uh, give or take. And I'm not sure how much, you know, 10 pages cost, but it's definitely, if they're giving out 20 of these, then it's pricey. And all the other stuff you get between them, you get 15 charm packs, which is not bad at all. 10k gives one charm optional pack, a level 7 life mug on a cave key. The value feels like it kind of falls off here, but level 7 mug is actually a little pricey. And then 20k gives a gold essence, fire rune for inner gates, there's actually no tooltip information here. And then 2000 co coupons back, so you're technically going to spend 8k to get yourself... All this extra stuff from 10k. And that's why the Wheel of Fortune fits in so nicely. Because recharging 20k, spending 10k for max spins. Or even doing the 8k. You know, it's, which is going to be a little bit more than you have to for Heroes then. It gets you so much. And that's why this event cycle is good. But it's only from a spending standpoint. Not really anything else. So I'm definitely recharging. I already recharged the 20k. So that's that's taken care of. Uh, I figured I would probably you know recharge the 20k and save the ingots. But I didn't think Wheel of Fortune would come around this time. I always lose track of Wheel of Fortune when it shows up and when it disappears. So I didn't expect that. But refines I was waiting on. Um, so we're going to see what happens. But probably the best choice would be to do my Wheel of Fortune like I always do. That's 10k spent right there. I have coupons actually, so I have to spend more. I have to spend my coupons first and then spend uh, my ingots. And then I can save my coupons. So uh, I'll have a little bit over after I spend 20k. I'm not sure what I'm going to do it on. Probably the best thing would be. And, you know, I'm probably jinxing myself so hard right now. But uh, the best thing would be to probably use up my advanced refine runes and hope for really, really good RNG. At least like a skill up by 200 or 800 and keep 200 left. And then probably just buy the remaining refines to finish my other level 10 this week. And then by next month, I can actually focus charms. And I don't know, maybe like 20 to 25K, it might have a really good chance to finish off my charms. And that's what I'm thinking of doing. And that's like pretty much everything I need to have on position one maxed out besides cave keys. So that's probably the smartest thing to do, instead of getting a ninja that I'll use for one video and never use again. Plus, uh, Yugito, I wouldn't get anything for spending into this event. And Lucky Born, it's either get the summon, which <laughs> the items itself aren't like great, and the summon itself is kind of useless. So it would just be for cultivation's sake, and... If I was doing it for power, then doing refines would probably still give more power than than the Garotora itself. And uh, it, it definitely would not give me enough seals to go for the end of the month rebate. So as much as I want Edo Hashirama, I'll probably end up missing this rebate. Just because last, last month I did 500 seals. And uh, yeah, recovering to even get close to 200 is probably not going to happen. So anyway, let us... Go with the video. We're going to do this. Honestly, I'm hoping to recruit Konohamaru. I don't know what it's going to say. I'd probably say from an estimate that you'll be able to get 20 to 30 frags. And then you might see the coincidence of not being able to get any more. So I have no frags to begin with. 
I'm honestly hoping that it's not locked because like that's just gonna be a bummer and probably won't be able to. Either way, you don't have to buy 500, you can just buy 490 because you get yourself uh, a lucky voucher throughout it, which would end up saving you 200 coupons and ingots, but honestly, who cares? Like I, At this point, I need to find things to spend for. So, we're going to see. First, 10 pull. No Konohamaru. Second, nope. <laughs> uh, I'm just... Yeah. Pretty much this event became only good for the Unbound Runes. Okay, I think I did see... I think I saw Konohamaru. Yeah. So, I got him once from 100. Twice from 100. If you can only get 10 a day, then I'll be disgusted. No, I got him again. So that's 15. Oh, man. Um, come on. Don't tell me it's 15 a day. Really, game? Um, I'm pretty, pretty sure that... Well, actually... Yeah, I mean... Hmm... This is not looking good. I mean, are you serious right now? It's gonna be locked to 15 a day? Uh, well... I tested 310. And I can say that I didn't get... Yeah, I, I got 15 frags from it, so what I'm going to do is hold on to the remaining spins and keep it. I mean, it's honestly disgusting. And then before everyone says RNG, I don't care what you have to say, because that is honestly ridiculous. But I'm going to try tomorrow, hopefully at least be able to recruit him tomorrow from 200. That's honestly absurd, I mean... Yeah, like, <laughs> the 20 to 30 frags would happen twice a day before it locked you out. And it's locking you out three times a day for five frags? <laughs> uh, I guess that kind of makes sense, because when Edo Hiruzen was a single frag on this, I think I only got him like three times in 500. So, yeah, that's, that's 300 done for the day. And I'm um, really not gonna, not gonna push this, and I'm gonna save it. Edo Hiruzen, wherever he may be. Uh, did I not claim? I don't think I claimed. Nope, nope, I didn't claim it. So I'm 80 out of 100 for 4 star now. I really wish Angel Conan would be showing up in rebates so I can start her up. I definitely want to start up here in the future. Um, I don't know if I'll go out of my way to buy the frags or just piece them to get a 4 star or just another rebate comes around. But they're kind of giving him up twice now in a rebate. Still no Angel Conan. And uh, I'm pretty close with, you know, 4-star Edo, Roshi, and Togirama. But, yeah, that's kind of crazy. Like, I'm honestly disgusted by this. 15 Konohamaru's in 300. And I only got, basically, the 3 in 150, so... Well, I'm gonna save that for tomorrow. It's 5k spent today. I already have all the scrolls, or all the wheel stuff done, so that's not really... What I'm into, I have I have so much to spend. Um, I honestly love doing Lucky Board. Even though it's so masochistic to buy this and open all those packs up. It's pretty much the same as if you were to buy advanced level refine packs from here. So I don't know. Let's just let's just do Lucky Board. And um I don't know how many dice to really buy. It might be like either 250 dices or maybe like 300 dices. I just don't want to like overbuy it because all I want to do is get the the refines. But we're going to go through this. Hope for some things. Probably the best thing for me to do is just, <laughs> uh, is just buy my refines out and do that because... I really want to get the gold essence because I was planning to do 10k already. 
So I might as well finish that gold essence. And getting my level 10 refines will be a good power boost, so I don't mind doing that. That is disgusting. And then this game just freezes. It bugged. Where's my dog? Oh no. Now I know how John Wick felt. Okay, my dog is back. So it just randomly glitches out. Oh, the, honestly, that Wheel of Fortune, though, I, I would probably tell you guys, just do like 100 spins a day. You know, in the future, I'm going to have to go back to it because I always did 100 spins a day. And throughout five days, got always way better results because of it. That's how you got like four star ninjas from not even having them recruited. But damn, like, game. <laughs> I ain't messing with that Wheel of Fortune. I'm gonna at least recruit Kanahamru. I might have gotten, like, if 100 a day gave me 15 frags, or 10 frags, I would have been close to getting the 3 star. But at this point, from 500 spins, I expect to recruit him. And I know for a fact, if I kept going 500 in today's video, I would have not gotten him. This is actually gonna cost, yeah, so it's gonna be another probably 100 dice. And then... We should be done. I, don't, I honestly don't think I kept track of my seals, but it is early in the video when we went through the seal scroll stuff. So I'm hoping for a decent amount. Still probably won't do the rebate this month, but I'm also 59 Edohashi frags. 21 frags could be real issue. It's the difference between so it's the difference between like 600 seals. Which is two rebates at most. To like a thousand. Or two hundred. Depending if I get one or two frags. So give or take I'm saying like I need probably another thousand seals. And I get Edohashi. Which will be three rebates. Or if I just wait for the 500 it'll be a lot sooner. Uh, but I, I don't know. I just don't want to put my angus towards seal scrolls. We, we all did that back in the day. Oh, it was exactly 300 like 6k. 6k for all these advanced refines. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> 51 lucky ninja packs. We get Magatamas. Which is, I'll take it at this point. I mean, 21 level 2 Magatamas, a level 5 Magatama pack. This is probably a rebate stuff. But my favorite part of every single time Lucky Board comes out is uh, opening all these refined rune packs, so... Yeah, I'm gonna get through with this, and... Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna get through it somehow. And finally, the last one. Honestly, this always feels so bad to do. I mean, just like, too much clicking involved. Um... But after all that, I am 1300 or 13,000 into the spending rebate. Just have to spend less than 6 or less than 7k. So 6.4k more, which probably isn't I don't know. No. It's probably not I don't know. Probably won't be able to max my other refund anyway. It's yeah. Even if in a, even if I was to buy out the remainder, I'd be able to just get a couple hundred more. So that level ten idea is not gonna happen. Uh, so at least I can do one. Purification wise. 91% initiative, this one has 89% with 90% combo. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna care more about the 2% than <laughs> the gold combo that comes with it. Uh, been stacking purifications for a while. Eventually I'll be going through them. I have to get a gold initiative on my, on my mask and then slowly start going for everything else. This 83% I kinda wanna fix that by also sacrificing all of it, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, but we're gonna go for this. Hopefully, I can save a lot, because a thousand? Yeah. So, uh, it really blows, but... 
Yeah, it was less than 900. And even if I buy out refines, it's not going to get me anywhere near 900, so... That's going to be it done. But finally, 20k initiative. 20.2k initiative. Almost 19k injury. Getting to a critical. Charms will boost me up a lot, and... The last level 10 refine would get me like 20.6k initiative, so really close to 21k. Now that I think about it, there's just not many more ways to gain initiative, and that's that's the issue with the game eventually. Um, so, the refine gives me another 400, I would say. So that's 20.6k. And I feel like the only other way after that is just exactly runestones. Because 11s give... Let's see. Um, 12s give 660. While 11s give like 490 or whatever it is. And Pal's at 22.5. So, um, yeah, I mean, you're getting almost 200 initiative per runestone. And it is a slight, it is a slight increase because of charm so i'd probably say that you can hit like 22k initiative easily by maxing everything else out and then it becomes all about your purifications and uh after 22k i don't know like it's where pills really go into effect uh, honestly yeah it's honestly become a struggle at this point <laughs> so there's also other ways to raise initiative like Miyaboku Cultivation, you know, it gives initi initiative, Summoning Cultivation. There's also Battle Armor, actually. I am forgetting about this. Everyone above me pretty much has, like, level 8 or 9 Battle Armor, and I'm still on 7. I could still go up to 1,000 with this. So maybe 23k is, like, the potential maximum before you really have to, like, sweat out initiative. But, um, yeah, now I'm in the issue where I spent 13.6k, and I'm honestly out of things to buy. I'd only be able to get 20 of these packs, and that's 200 advanced refines, which puts me 300 out of 1,000. Well, I'd be at 400 out of 1,000, but no, that's still not enough to get this going. Which, by the next Shinobi Feast, I'll be able to get another 400 easily. And then I can get that going. There's really nowhere to buy charms either, this event cycle. Like, I kind of wish Konoha Outlets would have showed up with this spending rebate. Oh, there's also this. Oops, there's also some advanced refines from here. And another pill. But wow, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to leave this remainder here. Um, I'm going to end up deciding what I do with it. I don't know, honestly. Like, I'd have to spend... I'd have to recharge like 5k more to basically get myself yu gi -Oh, which would really be pointless. And then I can also get myself Garo Tora, but I have to recharge a little bit more, and that'd be pointless could spend for oil and into lucky board but let's see um i can go to the next map it's a cultivation map 14 and it's 281 each now that's crazy and oil control i can go up one more Hmm. It's kind of weird how it's like, and you can just choose whichever one you want from these. But yeah, it's just it's just honestly not enough oil. Maybe if I got all of it, I'd be able to go up one more. It's not really big on a power boost at all. Uh, let me just make sure what else I claimed. 
So ability treasure scrolls. All right, well, let's just see what we can do right now. Um, so I've been using ghost kill again, but I hopefully get myself level eight sun move right now. Because that would be really good. So let me open up those pages. I also have some charm material packs. If I could only buy charms, then I'd rather just spend into it right now. Um, I have bond scroll optional pack. Which it will help me work on assist links. Not sure which elements I really want to go for. Double control. Uh, I got all these rune packets. I'll save that up for when I finish Wheel of Fortune, which I uh, don't know, depending on that, I'll just do it tomorrow or the day afterwards. Uh, random tactics pages. I actually gave six sun move pages. That's pretty nice. And then keeping everything else. Charm material frags. I also keep that until after I use up all these lucky vouchers. And tactics pages, so let's just go through this now. Alright, so those are all the sun move pages. This has to level me up. I mean, no way. Alright, so I ended up using. Wait, it said. It didn't it just say I raised up my battle armor when I raised up tactics? Okay then. But, okay, so I have 68 pages left over from all that. Uh, it's between going for level 9 Ghost Kill or level 9 Sun Move and... Finally, Sun Move catches up to my Ghost Kill. Which I probably still focus into Sun Move. But for a team like this, attack benefits Joni and Minato a lot more, so I have to use Ghost Kill, but they're finally even. Um, so that is taken care of. Three Charm Material optional packs, which is good. Don't really have to wait for rebates for these things. But there's just not enough critical. Injury is the furthest away. I might be able to level it up if I used it for armor charms and then did this, but I'll be buying those like deluxe charm packs. Probably. I don't know if I'll end up doing charms next month now. Because I still have one more month of a level 10 to go for. But uh, I'll just have to see what happens, honestly. Like, I really want to spend this towards something. It's better off just to go for advanced refines. Because, yeah, like, it's, it's like the average price. And it will carry over. So I'll eventually use it, and it's put to good use. Lucky board, you could kind of say the same thing. Because summoning cultivation would help out but uh it'd be overspending this event cycle so definitely do 100 a day for that though but yeah i think the smartest thing to do would be stack up the advanced refines because it'll make it cheaper for next month to finish it instead of you know spending my ingots somewhere else right now. And then being like, oh, I have to, I have to spend even more. Because this will just not give me what I need. It really won't. Hmm, it's honestly a tough choice. It's honestly a tough one. But I feel like... Yeah, and the, the cultivation will definitely get me 20 points at most, and it won't level me up. Um, and the oil. So you can get 500 oil. Which will level me up twice. But... That's also not enough of a boost, so... Yeah, I'll just spend into... Let me just make sure my inner gate is empty too. Okay, I have enough room. I have to I have to eventually... Nah, I'm waiting for 300 million coins. Which is almost time, I don't know. 
17 are group charm packs, or group summon chakra packs. Maybe a little bit longer and this will hit 300 million, but yeah, I made my choice. I'm gonna go for advanced refines, unless they put out like an extra event on Monday, which they honestly haven't done surprise events in months now. I will be so shocked and so triggered if they do, because like it's just those moments where you don't expect it and things just happen. So, um, yeah, let's just buy this out. And how much more do I have to spend? 400 more, so just two more packs. Or, yeah, we might as well just go over it. And uh, that's this event cycle taken care of. I'll be spinning throughout the next couple of days, honestly, hoping to recruit Konohamaru. Advanced refund packs always go somewhere towards the bottom. I got three of these deer things, which are in decisive bonds, hoping that I saw this from the rewards. Maybe they'll be contracting scrolls, but so far I have not seen them, if they even exist in there. So, there they are. So, 22, 220. That puts it off towards the next rebate. 394, next Shinobi Feast will give me 800. Hopefully I perform well in, in the Sage for the next month, and that will limit my spending for refines, and I'll, I'll probably be able to do charms then. So that's good. That's 20k spent. Making sure I don't have, I don't have anything else to spend into. Just uh, finish off this Wheel of Fortune. So 20k, get an extra gold essence. Now I can make sure and try to raise my power. So many cultivations I'll probably save as well. Just cause there's a... Uh... I was just going for the cheapest stuff. At this point. It really feels like I'm forgetting something. <laughs> And I always hate that feeling. I don't know. But let's go over the other stuff. So I'm gonna lock the fire. Position one has a red fire, position two doesn't. So I can actually upgrade that out. I was thinking of either, I don't know, dropping the damage reduction and putting water in, or dropping something else for water. Uh, Cause I don't know. But I dropped out ninjutsu lightning from everywhere else because I couldn't get one. But next time I do inner gates, I'm doing 100 mil a day and I'm spreading it across three days. Because after I did 100 mil in one day, the second 100 mil for 200 mil, eight gates, did get, got me like garbage. Like straight garbage. So uh, I don't trust RNG for anything in this game. If they do lock inner gates, I'm going to do 100 mil at a time and see how that works. Because it's honestly ridiculous. Like RNG, I understand it's random. And like, you know, it's like gotcha rates, but it can't be like so one-sided against you it's just it's just too unbelievable it honestly is all right but um nothing else to open up so yeah 20k position one it's good to see matter of time okay i might as well raise out power i'm i'm so close to getting full elemental resistances it's so difficult to get ninja tools right now because, um, you know, TI got reworked, but I am one more additional stat from getting Elemental Resistances maxed out on Ninja Tools. And I don't think I got any Earth Resistance Tools today. Nope. Just Fire Resistance. Then I have to basically start working on uh, the additional attributes, which this Critical 75 is the closest we get to 1.0. And I saved some of the higher end ones. For like, it seems like 46 is the highest you can get for like critical injury now, compared to back then being 75. Like that's massive, especially just massive. Um, but okay. And then battle armor. Okay, so I guess with the battle armor though, I will start working on it. But I'm gonna probably use my moon coins for it. Uh, actually, maybe not moon coins. I'm gonna go for assist links. It'll, it'll probably be a separate video, but by the time I use up my uh, 200 Wheel of Fortune spins, I'll also finally go through assist links because I have all those scrolls and I'll just be buying more chimes. But I'll probably start spending my moon coins towards advanced threads to at least get level 8. 
and I'll probably just stop at level 8. But it's 100k for 100 threads, which is like a little bit more than 10 skill ups. So I'll have to get, spend like four or 500k moon coins to, <laughs> to level it up. But in a month, I'll get level 8. Um, level 8 battle armor without having to spend into it. So that's really good. Two gold essences for my position too, because. Treasure 2 is amazing for initiative and critical and injury, but position 1 is maxed out, so I've been going position 2. That's the position 1. And then now we gotta work for position 2, which is gonna go for life. Um, simply because this one's falling behind and I wanna go for initiative position 1. Position, or position 2, sorry. Position 2 might hit, I doubt it will hit 11k, but it will get really close. Well, I'm not trying to reset that, so let's see. We go Gold Essence here. Oh, I'm gonna probably have to recycle, won't I? Actually, wait, there's still... There's still eight of these. So let me just single draw these out. Hopefully I get uh, essences, well, purple, purple essences, gold essences. To this day, I still have not gotten a gold essence outside spending events or rebates. That's insane. No gold essence from draws. No gold essence from plundering in mines. That's crazy. <laughs> and with all the gold essence I used up, like, lord... Okay, so I can get another purple. I have to recycle the last one. But it is just mental when you think about it. Because look at this. I mean... So that, this is 10 gold essences alone. Because every 15 is 1 gold essence. And then this is 500 purples. It's too much. Way, way too much. Like, that is insane. It's like 30 gold essences. And I'm and I'm just... A third of the way there. <laughs> oh, what a power of feature this is. Hard to believe that not one of those gold essences came from... It was all from power rebates from... Uh, what is it? Cave keys. And then you also have the recharge and spending rebates and all this, Fukuruku Mario deal. All of it has come from spending. Damn. Alright, and second rope. I should probably just go for 13 and... How close is that going to be? 11.50. I'll be right about. So... That's all 13. Yeah, this is not gonna happen. Nope, because I'll, I'll be really close. But uh, I'll be like 300 experience off, so. That'll be for the next time, but the second rope is now 13, 13, 13. Uh, 10.7k initiative. Uh, you know, which that leads me to believe, but I'll probably have to just abandon my balancing out for the other rune stones. I'll probably keep level sevens on my position too, but position four and three, I'll probably strip again, bring them back to fives, and just hope I can get at least. Pretty much want to get one level twelve for every cave key ruby that I do now, because I really need to start maxing it out. So by next cave key maybe I'm gonna go for at least 112 and everything because that's the only way to really increase my position one initiative now. Besides the last purification and headband was already nine, so it's really limited, and that's why I gotta go for battle armor too. Crazy, crazy stuff. And then I guess the last thing I can upgrade is Magatamas, which this is gonna stay for. 
Yeah, this is going to stay for it. I'm going to go for sevens everywhere else. Oh, I don't even know if I can get it, to be honest. Yeah. I'm going to be able to get it, actually. Wow, I went, I went one, one level one over. That's just nasty. How could it happen? All right, and then uh, work on our last set of sixes, which will put me closer. Uh, attack might be, I should be able to get this, right? Went over that as well. While we're working on the last attacks now. Actually, let me check runestone, because there was one. There was something. Oh my god, I still didn't get a, an injury at all. From all those free draws, either. Oh well. Alright, and then uh, defense. Might be able to get a 7 here. That's gonna be 50, no. Alright, first level 7 defense outside of every other position. Ninjutsu. I'd honestly be surprised. But this one is also pretty far. Yeah, it's on the last one, just like the life Magatama. Okay. I'll be... Oh, okay, I actually managed to get another level 7 ninjutsu in my position 4. And then resistance. Working on this. Alright, so that's pretty much the improvement this time around. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but in the next video, probably over the weekend, or actually, no, maybe Monday instead, because I have a Sunday stream, I'll be going over the recorded footage from Wheel of Fortune spins, and we will use up the Cultivational runes, and I'll probably end up doing more into Assist Links, so I can get every single card upgraded. Uh, I also have... You know, she sweeps Bond Mystery to do. I'm surprised there's actually a card missing. For some reason. But I think I'll save Ambu Itachi for the Sunday stream. So I'll do the Ambu Itachi's Bond Mystery on Sunday. Tonight I'll use Summer Hinata because everyone's been asking for a team with her. So we're going to do that in Sage and hope it goes well. But yeah, these are the improvements this time around. Um, wow, two, 232k power. Which, I went up 5k somehow. I didn't expect to go up that much, but 232k. It's pretty good. Try to get all the other cards to like 6, maybe 5 at least, before I start going into advanced res. But 232k power now. That's really nice. So, I... Good, good update then. 20k position 1, almost 11k position 2. 5k power increase and then Sage tonight, but... That's this event cycle. It's Like I said, it's only good for getting yourself out of Heroes in and then using the refine rebate. Actually, I forgot to go for the pill. But uh, at this rate, I'll just save the pill for the next video. And I get, I'll also get another pill from Wheel of Fortune. So that'll be level 16. Four more pills, and that's max before I go for other stuff. But yeah, I really gotta think about maxing out purifications either. Definitely fixing my mask, and then maybe considering to get like a 90% initiative on my scroll. Because that would end up giving me another 100 initiative if I did it. But I'm worried about screwing up my critical and injury from there. So I don't know what I want to do with that, but also space time is tonight. 
uh, this season started up again. But it's gonna be rough because I'm against JoJo. No way I'll win anyway. Because uh, Conan fought against him and lost, so pretty much destiny. My run ends at these semifinals. But top four placement. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Catch you guys next time. And stay free to play.